Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Millennia. As we are continuing to learn actually quite a bit about this game. There's a lot of... A lot that goes on. A lot that, um... Yeah, we're just learning. We're learning lots of things. Um... You know, we actually probably would want to get us another town over... Town over here wouldn't be bad, because we get the elephants, the flax, and the cotton. That actually wouldn't be bad... I don't know what to think about that. We can reap some stuff, get some more wealth. Or we can get some research. Honestly, some research wouldn't be bad. So how do we see the wealth? Wealth is over here, right? Prosperity over here. So, like Tapieca, Belo Horizonte, whatever. These guys are all... Like, if we were to grab research from here, what is this actually going to do? It's this... Only gets us 4.2 knowledge. Really? Or is it 4.2 knowledge per turn? No, it's just literally 4.2 knowledge. Huh. Interesting. It's a little unexpected. And it just lowers you down to... Okay, it took away 50% of your prosperity. Okay. Interesting. That's how that works, huh? I'm not sure how good those are, actually, come to think of it. Oh my goodness. Barbarians are the worst. Why can't you not... I mean, yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade to pikes. Why can you not... Oh, we have a unit there. I thought you were moving out somewhere. Weird. All right. Man, I can't believe they just destroyed that town. That's annoying. Very, 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 very annoying. Barbarians are literally the worst thing in this game right now. I thought barbarians were bad in civilization. I will never complain about bar... Wait a minute, I will complain about barbarians in civilization, but these are infinitely worse. It's not because they're problematic. They're easy to deal with. They just, they're everywhere. So it's hard to deal with all of them all the time without them just destroying things that you want to keep. Such as improvements. Speaking of improvements. Yeah, we just lost all this stuff. Like, so barbarians are garbage. We have to get that city repaired now with uh, engineering XP. I'm assuming that's the only way we can get it repaired, right? All right you guys can repair. Go to a pike, that's fine. So we don't have a lot of space. We really don't. We just don't have hardly any space right now to put more improvements down. So I think we're just going to sit on the... I mean, is there anything else we can do with this? I don't know that there is. We might... Honestly, it's almost like we need to get more of these guys integrated now just so we can use our improvement points. Maybe Bella Horizonte here should become a... I'm integrated soon. Yeah, Maybe. Actually, Tapieca could be integrated as well, but it's pretty small at the moment. I don't know. What do you think about that? I got rid of the walls. Yeah, I mean, they're everywhere. 
Literally barbarians everywhere. We just gotta spread units out pretty much all corners of our nation. And be ready to jump on the barbarians as they pop up. Because even those little 35 stacks, which basically do nothing, are still strong enough to hurt us. That was close. <laughs> I was lost on your unit, but it's okay. We got it. All right. So we're vassalized, and that's everything. Um, hmm. I mean, it's almost like every city needs their own military in this version of the game, which, or in this, not version of the game, but this, in this type of game. Where, like, in Civilization, we can defend against barbarians with just walls. In this game, we've got to have, like, military literally everywhere. Or maybe it's because we don't have proper walls that we can shoot back. I don't know. All right. We want to... Honestly, create an army somewhere. Probably going to create an army here and then split it up between the two forces uh what do you have you've only got you got you know you got two range units never mind you have you also have two range units i'm really mad let's just move you over there and then you come over there you <sighs> got these guys oh there's an encampment down here mm. honestly we might need to get us a uh, just a scout run around find stuff Sugar down there. Create envoy. I mean, I kind of want to just finish this out. Because why not? Script Immortals. I mean, I guess I can have you come down here and deal with this barbarian encampment. spawn it behind us Let's come down with this one though we know about this and there's probably another one out in the fog to, to our east as well if 
It's luxuries. Oh, there's Ox XP. A jeweler. Get from gold. That would be useful. Let's go for guilds. That'll give us a jeweler. Crisis Age of Intolerance grows stronger as you neglect your nation's need for faith. To reach the maximum, you'll need to be forced to set the Intolerance Age as the future. Okay. Uh, sure, you can have them borders for now. I've been working on faith, but it's good to know that that's a thing. Spawn a merchant. Get some diplomacy XP. Um, let's grab the merchant. Why not? Merchant can kind of, uh, actually let's have both of you guys come back to one of these guys and go to Brasilia or whatever, whatever we can. Oh, I need to know as soon as I can. Oh, I already have that flagged. Good. Got so much print points. We have nothing to spin them on, though, as far as I know. Oh, I guess we didn't. No, we still don't have mines. We got to go back and find mines. I didn't think about that. Okay, that guy could kill us. Um, let's go this way. never-ending. Alright. Do we care about you? A little bit. But we do have some very strong units up here. Now, we don't have units out in these other... <laughs> That's the thing. We have so many places. We just don't have units everywhere. Um... Hmm. I guess you guys need to head over that way. Culture power. Um, I mean, raising an army. Probably a good idea to raise an army back home and split it up between two of our and this group here. Uh, you only have one archer, right? Yeah, you do. So you can grab the archer and then the pikemen can come up to here. Um, destroy palisade walls. I think we'll take the destroy palisade walls. We don't have a lot of money right now. Things are actually going pretty poorly for us right now. deals with that little group. I'm actually going to bring you guys back. I don't trust that he's not going to come over here and try and beat up on us in a different direction. Uh, We don't need the improvement points. We'll take the wealth. All right, well, there goes our merchant, right? Oh, no, so there. But we're going to die, so we got to get out of here. I don't want to leave the town, though, is the problem with doing this. So I think we'll stay in the town and just defend it. All right, there's the holy site. Which we almost need to rush, but I guess we'll get it done as quickly as possible. 
But the problem with that is that we are going to definitely be in the crisis. Well, hopefully we can whittle that down a little bit and get some money somehow, which we don't actually have any wealth right now. You guys not going to attack me? Apparently not. Away, stupid barbarians. I mean, he's going to be coming through here too soon. We know that, right? I think we need to move you that way. All right, Tapestry Weaver gets us Arts XP, which we were talking about. So I think we're going to grab that. Or oh, is he just going to ignore us? Well, we definitely have to get back in here. Actually, I think we can go successfully attack you there. Without much fear. I mean, I don't know how much we're actually concerned about him. Uh, can we rush this? How much? So it does get cheaper every turn. So as soon as we can rush that, we can try. It might not be early enough for the to avoid the uh, crisis, though. I'm assuming there's a barbarian encampment over here somewhere. I don't want to leave the city is the problem with what I'm seeing here. But if we could, hmm. Nah, we're just going to stay where we're at. Alright, we got to get back into the city. There's too many guys bopping around. Some volunteers in a few places. Just gonna stick some volunteers there. Not much, but maybe it'll distract them a little bit. Actually, I might just invite them to attack us. You know, I'm actually. Hmm. I think I'm going to bug out. I don't want them to kill you while also destroying the town. Well, not much we can do here. Um, try to move you guys out to try and help deal with this mess, I guess. The problem is if I hit here, yeah, we kill them, but then these guys can attack the city, and I don't know how strong the city is right now to absorb any future attacks. No, let's just go for it. I gotta get rid of these guys before they start going around pillaging everything in the world. Uh, I think we'll take the exploration XP. Uh, I say that. You know, maybe we should have done the warfare kind of thing of it. That's all right. Don't really need the exploration that much more, do we? I mean, more prospectors wouldn't be bad. Uh, maybe we raise an army here. Yeah, I think we do. Start building this up a little bit more. Actually, looks like you would be able to... Oh, it says deal dumb that damage, take no damage. Okay, never mind. We'll chill for a turn. I mean, they're everywhere, but 
I like the strength of our units at the moment, so I think we're okay. and there's defense there. All right, we're about to be in the crisis age. This is so bad. Oh, we can rush this finally. Basically spending all of our wealth though, but I think we have to. All right. Are we still in the crisis age? What? Base satisfaction is not less than so. Where I think I think that just hasn't caught up with itself yet. That's actually pretty strong. Got a lot of units. Um, okay, I guess you... I'd rather have you guys deal with the guys on the left. Yep. Get rid of you, and then you guys can circle around to these guys. Are we gonna have to go like beat up on Rome's like actual cities just to get them to stop being at war with us? Merchants get us more prosperity. All right, so we're no longer increasing that, thankfully, but it's not going back down either. We've got to like keep a very careful eye on this. Maybe it was a bad idea to get a religion. I don't know.
Deploy deploying this person to one of your vassals increases prosperity each turn. Sure. All right, we did finish guilds. Um, I mean, we can start working on the Age of Renaissance just to try and get past Age of Intolerance before we can get there. Um, Age of Conquest is a victory one. I mean, we're not going for Age of Conquest probably because we're just not strong enough. Age of Intolerance, we're hoping that we don't go for. Age of Discovery, we're not going to have any docks anytime soon. So maybe we do just go for Age of Renaissance. But also, alternatively, we could backtrack just so we'll be able to get the mines and stuff. Which was under what? Mining? Let's come get the mines. I think those are kind of important. Large church gets us more Christianity. Feels kind of important. See, we're not... We're barely hanging on here. So we got us a pioneer. It's going to set us up an outpost somewhere. Honestly, I'm not tempted to just put an outpost back over here or maybe back over here. Something. Pike, which we will do at some point. We'll take this attack first, though. Should be a fairly safe attack. Alright, I mean, I guess he declared war on us, so we should just go after him at this point. Did get mine? Oh, we got a pioneer from the mine. I was like, how did we get a pioneer? That makes sense. Um, these will both give us arch XP as well. Does feel kind of like it's worth backtracking for that too. It's actually a lot of arch XP in, in these last two. Really, the sooner we get to our Age of Renaissance, the sooner we can skip Age of Intolerance. So I think we will. I wanted to get mining, but I think it's worth going for that now. Hmm. Script Immortals. A couple spear units. Uh, actually. That would help fill out this unit, which... It's only got one crossbow, though. We'll hold off. I think we'll grab you. And then we'll just grab this one here in a bit. We'll put a little reminder on that. And we'll just build up to that. Not that we have to... I'm sure we don't have to fill all those out, but I like to, I guess. It just feels completionist to me. Alright, so... You're going to move over here to grab this troop, I think. Apparently you cannot. You can maybe grab that troop then. Yeah. Right, easy. And then I guess... Guess you guys grab this one. Or not? Like there we go. It's like it was not letting me. Cool. 
And then I guess you guys just temporarily get into the city for now. I guess it's time to go on the offense. Um, yeah, let's just move you over this way. Oh, you can take that. And then I guess we'll move you into the city here to uh, defend there. We can actually put mines down finally. And quarries. I can't do that here, huh? Okay, well, let's go to... I don't know. Can we go to Fortezella? Oh, I guess we can do it here. That'll work. Let's come back down here, see if we can do some exploration. You guys just pop on that guy. Get rid of him. Then we'll go for the actual barbarian encampment. Oh, we're over time. Okay, we're going to put a cut in there. When we come back, we're probably going to take this war uh, against Rome now. So we'll see where that goes. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout-out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.